What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're looking at the brand new objective card and it is going to be Guedes to review today. Now this card right here, for a free card, looks absolutely unreal. Just by looking at the stats, 4 star, 4 star, high, medium, 5, 10, everything is spot on there. Stats, 90 pace, 85 dribbling, 85 shooting, 81 passing and 76 physicals. I haven't re re like reviewed this card, but I'm sitting here thinking to myself, boys, if you haven't gone ahead and got this card already, go ahead and get him for this weekly. Because if he doesn't fit in your team, he's surely going to be a pretty decent superstar for you guys. Now, when it comes down to comparing him to his original gold card, we are looking at a plus three to pace, a plus six to shooting, a plus five to passing, a plus four to dribbling, a plus seven to physicals, and a plus seven to defending as well. Moving from a left mid position to a center forward. Now, the chem style I've gone for is a finisher. The reason I've gone for a finisher is because I'm looking at this card and thinking, to myself right he does need that strength he does need that aggression but let's all be fair right if you want to go for a finisher it just helps out so much the finishing gets boosted by a plus 15 then the dribbling and the agility gets boosted by a plus 10 and a plus 15 as well like it's literally a no-brainer to go for a finisher on this card i feel like it's going to be the best chem style and that's the chem style i'm probably going to stick with him the whole review he has got 88 acceleration and 91 sprint speed so pace is kind of not going to be a problem i do feel like he might struggle against the Varans, the Mendes, the Gomez's, but hopefully he can outpace like the Virgils, if you know what I mean. Shooting abilities, got 88 attacking positioning, 97 finishing, 99 shot power with the 90 long shots as well. Has he got any shooting traits? He does not, which is disappointing, but it is what it is. He has got 86 volleys and 79 penalties as well. The passing ability, if you're thinking or playing this guy in a cam position, He's obviously not going to be that kind of guy that, you know, pings the ball like a KDB or like a Bruno Fernandes, right? But he still should probably be pretty decent. I feel like, if anything, he's going to be a very aggressive cam if you are play if you are feeling to play him in a cam position. So he has got a 82 vision, the 83 crossing, 75 freaky accuracy, 82 short passing, 74 long passing with the 81 curve. But take a look at his dribbling stats with that finisher cam style boost, boys. 94 agility. 86 balance, 86 reactions, 84 ball control, 99 dribbling with the 84 composure. Now, obviously, as, as it's a free card, you can't, you know, get everything in the world. And obviously, the physicals is the thing that slacks on this card. 80 stamina is not going to be enough to last for the whole 90 minutes. 75 strength and 74 aggression is decent, but it's nothing insane. Now, when it comes down to the links... La Liga, boys. La Liga is so easy to link beautiful players with. You got Coquelin, you got Fatty, and you got Joao Felix as well. You've also got like Herrera, Dembele, and Okuna in this team. I will be playing Guedes in a 4-4-2 in that striker position, but I do want to try him down the line and in a cam position, so I will try him in a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get into the games. So the first thing we are going to try out is obviously he's dribbling. I want to see those quick turns come into play. Little ball roll. Oh, when dribbling. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that dribbling right there. I can already tell the finisher chem style is coming straight into play. Dembele on the ball. I want to see if he cuts back here. He is going to cut back, but he is also going to make that run into space. Nice dribbling. Lacoqueta around him. Pass to the inside. Give it to Dembele. And we are going to get the goal. Absolutely insane dribbling. And a really, really nice pass towards Dembele. I want to see, is he going to make that running behind or is he going to come short? He is going to kind of come short for a certain amount of time, but he is going to make that run. Little ball roll around the keeper. I should have took it. That's, that's all me. That's literally all me. He made great movement. I should have took it a bit more calm and let go of RT way, way earlier. Is this really going to happen? I hate this. Sometimes I hate this. Like, there's no way you do one through ball and it goes straight past my defense. Herrera. Going to try to pass through the gap. There you go. We'll roll into the inside. I'm going to go for a finesse shot and it is going to be a beautiful save. I do feel like need, I needed to take like a little extra touch there just to get a bit more shot power behind it. Where is the ball? Scoop turn. Can try to get down this line. Oh, stop it. Oh, wow. Boys, look at it. Like, look at his dribbling. Like, oh my. No. Oh, okay. All right, I'm not going to lie to you guys. It was a bit lucky. Let's all be fair, right? He should have probably been tackled like at least twice there, but I will take that goal. Dembele, can I get him in behind? Yes, I can. There you go. I want to kind of go for this pass. I am going to go for this pass because he has pushed up and he's going to leave Felix wide open in the middle. And you know for a fact, he is never going to miss that opportunity. Guedes, going to free ball that pass. Dembele, ball roll in, give it back to him. Gonna go for that little acceleration. I must admit, his ball control while running isn't like great, but it's not too bad. It's that that's one head of a tackle for and and he was on a yellow card. If he literally hit my feet 
at all, it's a red card and he gets it spot on. That's unbelievable. Can they? Gonna tell him to make a run. Gonna play that ball. Well played. Nice pace. Keep going. Keep going. Ball roll round in. Bye bye. Just take it calm. Take it very relaxed and just go for the easy finish. Great use of pace there. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't believe he was actually going to outpace Varane or even Kunde. I thought he was going to actually get caught up. But it is what it is. We got the goal. I need him to make a run up. There you go. Going to pass it all the way up. We're on to the inside. He actually comes short, by the way. Like, very, very often. Referee sort him out. This guy's given up, by the way. It's 4-1. He's literally over and done with. Let's take a free kick. 75 free kick accuracy. But he has got that 99 shot power to his game. Hopefully, this guy does not move the keeper. And we do get ourselves a goal. Okay, that's the 75 free yak, see, because there's no way. Okay, it literally hits the wall that long. Felix, over to Guedes. Keep going. No bad touch. There is certain occasions, I must admit, he is taking bad touches. But he always, like, eventually gets the ball back. That's me, by the way. I was meant to do a fake shot and they did a slide tackle. Felix, over to Guedes. Should I get in behind? I want to try to get in behind, boys. Come on. This is obviously against Blanc. Can he get in behind? He can get in behind. I'm going to go for a cross goal finish. I got scared. I got really, really scared there because I noticed last second. Look, he moved the keeper. This guy moved the keeper very early and I did definitely did not expect it. So I went for the cross goal finish. Well, obviously me always going across goal and it just went in. That is extremely lucky. Straight through the middle to Guedes. Nice shielding. He has got a really nice shield to his game, by the way, because his body type is average, and the average body type in this game... Can I go for a finish? Ooh. The average body type in this game is actually quite muscular, which means, obviously, he can shield off for a fair amount of time. Passing over to Guedes again. Like, right here, look at, look at his strength get used. But I mean, just holding the LT, this is what I mean, right? He's not going to be able to do that like a Virgil van Dijk or like a, a Zakaria, where they literally do that, and they're going to hold that ball for God knows how long in that corner. But he is going to do it for a fair amount of time, so it kind of gives you enough time to actually realize where to pass next. So I am playing a 4-2-3-1 right now with Guedes playing in that cam position. And he is actually staying in his position. But I want to know, if I go further forward, is he going to start to make runs in? Oh, what's happened here? He's moved over to the left mid position. I feel like it's because Dembele's moved into the like striker position. So he's moved over to the left mid position. But yeah, he is actually coming short. I want to bang a long shot. Come on. Oh, I imagine that hit top bins. That would have been absolutely insane. Guedes. Oh, he fake shot. Scooped around the corner. That's really nice. Gonna try to get that acceleration around him. Gonna go for that near post finish. That's quite lucky to actually get that shot because I feel like that should have been blocked. But what a save. Guedes again. Scooped into the outside this time. Ball roll into the inside. Few step overs. He does use his strength, by the way, like a decent amount. He always puts his body... Oh, I tried to go through that gap. He always puts his body in the way of my opponent, which means he's kind of shielding off automatically. Guedes. Ball roll. Gonna pass it to Felix. What's his movement here? He still doesn't make those runs in behind. He does obviously go out wide simply because I believe it was Fatty that actually came into the inside. So he does obviously utilize the space. But the thing was with Guedes is the fact that he kind of moves all around in the midfield. He never like makes those runs out of nowhere in that cam position. So he's not actually that aggressive, which I thought he was actually going to be. Little bridge there. Ball roll to keep it in. Oh, I tried to keep it into the inside to see if I can get like a wide open sweat. So it is time to review him. Two games played, two goals scored with the two assists as well. I'm pretty sure we scored more goals with this guy, but apparently didn't. Apparently I completely lost count of how many goals he scored and it was only two interesting either way this card absolutely ridiculous honest to god like for a free card especially come on now the four star four star the high medium work rates the pace the dribbling the shooting the little bit passing the little bit of physicals you really can't go wrong when it comes down to a free card with his kind of ability with his kind of links as well portuguese link renato sanchez ronaldo joao felix you got so many good players you can link this guy up with and you also got the whole of la liga you can go if you have to play them on fatty link him up with fatty you can literally link him up with so many good players it is honestly out of this world so i would 100 say to you guys go and do this card it is worth the grind it is worth the time now for pace i am going to give his pace i would say an 8.6 out of 10 i'm not going to sit here and say he's a you know an out of this world guy that can obviously outpace the Mendes Varans because he's not all right he, he outpaced them on some occasions but he did get caught up in other occasions as well so I can't go over the top for pace by shooting ability whew, his shooting was nice the shot power on this guy's shot wow 
The accuracy on this guy's shot, wow. Even with no shooting trait, it still impressed me by a decent amount. So for shooting, I am going to give him, I would say, an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Passing ability, as I said at the start, he's no, he's not going to be a, you know, a Bruno Fernandez or like a KDB when it comes down to passing, right? But he's still going to be a very nice passer, quite average passer, and that is what he was, right? He was a pass, he was a passer that didn't really screw up a lot of passes. So for passing, I am going to give him, hmm, I'll give him like an 8.1 out of 10, quite average. Dribbling ability. Now this is the thing, right? If you sit here and say to yourself, a hunter, because his pace is not enough, you're not going to get the dribbling you saw today. Do you see this guy literally going inside of inside out of players? You saw this guy skip around like, what, six players, five players, something around there. It was honestly beautiful, the dribbling I was doing with this guy. So for dribbling, I am going to give him, I would honestly say like a 9 out of 10. The reason I'm not going to bring it to like 10 out of 10s or anything like that is because the ball control. I did notice in some occasions, the ball control was a little little bit of a problem so that is something you are going to notice obviously on this card now the physicals the stamina was obviously not enough hands down like it was not enough to last for the whole 90 minutes so for physicals i am gonna give him i would say like a an 8.2 out of 10 it wasn't great but it wasn't you know bad either but the strength and aggression i feel like the strength was something that I did see a decent amount with him automatically like shielding players, getting in front of players and stuff like that. But that is because of the average body type as well. Well, the average body type in this game is quite muscular. So it is going to get into a lot of contact to contact situations. And he has got a decent amount of strength to actually come out with the ball. So as an overall rating out of 10, I'm going to give this card, I would honestly say like a, hmm, I'm going to give it like an 8.5 out of 10. Quite impressive. For a free card especially, EA definitely took a W for this one. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.